Hello guys, Pockets215 here. Just doing a little gear update on my Soviet World War II Red Army impression. <clears throat> I'm doing it a little differently. I'm not gonna dress up and stand in front of the camera with some music. I don't have a, well I have a bunch of changes but not a whole lot. So just do it simple like this. <clears throat> Alright, first off, I finally got myself an original canteen with an original cover for it. So I don't gotta I don't have that post war one anymore. I can do this with one hand. Alright. Doesn't have the chain anymore. It's pretty dented up, but that's cool. I don't mind that at all. It makes it gives it character and stuff. Probably can't see the date at all, but it's dated 1940. So it's so pre-war, which makes it, which is nice. It's not like 1945 or 46 or something. So I got that. <clears throat> and then I went ahead and I, with scrap material, I used, um, I was able to make I was able to make um, a tobacco pouch. And so I sewed that up and put on one of the you know, striker buttons, embroidered a little red star on it. So now I got that, and then all of my matches. So that holds tobacco matches, my pipe inside, which I made little slots for. So I can take it apart and set it in there. Just like that. So now my soap dish can actually be used for soap. Like it was meant to. So that. And then, um, I have a good friend of mine who's part of our, our Red Army unit who lives in, um, <clears throat> lives in Arizona. And he makes a lot of great reproductions of, of Red Army gear. And what he went and did for me is he actually, he made, um, Reproduction so on star badge. So instead of having the prongs, you just sew it through with these two holes. Real cheap, you know, kind of wartime production with lack of materials and such. Also, I sent him my helmet and got it repainted. So now it's the correct color green. And it's a little shiny, just how they were. So it's a little darker green. Nothing different to the inside, to the liner. Put the went ahead and got put the rivets through, just like the originals. The post war ones are sewn on. And then went and redid some of the stamps on it, made it 1942 dated. how much originally did in 1957 he also made uh, well relined not completely made but you know, relined and got it um, wartime correct uh, Soviet uh, Red Army Yushanka so now I have a real nice looking Yushanka Red Star I kind of aged a bit scruffed off the paint so this is originally a Bulgarian Ushanka. I know a lot of people out there are getting that now and relining them and such just like this. So now it's got a more, you know, it's got a correct World War II Soviet liner. He 
He also made for me my shoulder boards and collar tabs for my Chanel, my great coat. So finally have those on it. And I'm sure if you were paying attention you saw this, these are already on it. it showed in the my comeback fallout episode. But yeah, now it now it looks real complete. It's nice. I got those, and then I got my Telegrica trousers. So now I got the full Telegrica set. In fact, I cut off the knee pads and um, used that material to make my tobacco pouch. And dyed it so it looks early war, real light color. Got the right belt. Went ahead and took this button off and put a original Zeltbahn button on so it's like a a lot of soldiers would capture would just use whatever buttons they could to replace broken off buttons and a lot would use Zeltbahn buttons or German trouser buttons or something so that brings it adds a little unique addition to it I did the same thing to my Hinostroika my tunic I did all the buttons with original Zeltbahn buttons so it gives it that real wartime look. Did it on all on the pockets. Did it on the cuffs. On both sides. So that's a new addition as well. And then finally went ahead and as a as a pack filler um, went ahead and got me a gas mask set. Now these are all things that I've had before. So this is a light war type 2 bag. Button up, no pockets. Simple. Just has two inside pockets. Check this out. What it is, is uh, it's my own 14 filter, which is like, you know, it's the correct filter type and size and the colors roll dark so it looks, you know, almost, cor you know, correct for pictures I've seen. That's, they also could come in the lighter filter, but I've seen a lot more in the dark filter. Uh, use the black hose from the OM-14 as well, because I've seen a lot, a lot, but the, the original SM1 mask was issued with black hose or a cloth hose, and I have I have both, but I have the black hose on it because I've seen more pictures of that. And for the for the SM1 replica, it's just a GP5. It looks really really close to it, small snout and everything. It's not quite small enough, but a little small as opposed to the to the army masks that have the the longer snout. And so, it's not exact, but very, very close. And so, you know, I'm not not saying this is this is an exact copy, and every reenactor should do this. But if you're if you don't want to spend a lot of money on trying to money and time on trying to find an original SM1 with you know the filter and the hose and everything and great condition and you want to have a, just a pack filler to either take to events or just have on display this would be the way to go in my opinion really cheap really affordable and that's the update on my gear and what should be coming new eventually will be probably an early war uniform set gas mask bag And, I don't know, maybe I'll eventually get myself a pocketless tunic. If I can find a real nice one. I'm not happy with some of the ones I've seen on the internet so far. So anyways, until next set of, next update. See ya.